Uh, hello everyone, this is Lobby Designs here, and uh, I haven't made a video in about a week. I haven't put one up, actually, um, so I, uh, I, I thought I'd do it today. I'm uh, back from camp. I'm um, good to go. I'm all ready and, and stuff. Uh, so in this one, I guess we'll be doing Layered Vortex. Uh, it's much uh, like normal Vortex, but there's a few different things. There's a few different aspects that you can change and whatnot. Um, so basically, uh, I've already put it in here. I've set up a little thing, um, so which makes it easy to demonstrate. Now, I did actually make half a video. Then when I got to actually uh, showing what it does, I stuffed up. Um, so, so yeah. Anyway, um, I guess take two or whatever. Uh, I just have some um, liquid spheres here. Just default settings, except the resolution is on ten. Um, uh, just some spheres that are inactive. I have a cylinder, which is just so that they hit the sides, so that you can see a few different things, I guess. Um, but I'm going to have that on not visible. Uh, so, basically, if I just go ahead and simulate, you'll see that it basically does the exact same thing a vortex does on the current settings. It's making the liquid go around these central points. Or just imagine there's a line there because at the moment all the settings are the same. So they're all doing the exact same thing. Now, now I've got something on my, on my tongue. Bloody hell. Anyway. Alright, so you can see they're all they're all doing their own little thing here. Um, they're going pretty slow. They should hit the, uh, the cylinder pretty soon. And um, they'll do a kind of... I don't know what they'll do, but they'll all, they'll hit it and they'll splash. I mean, I've, I've seen it before. Yeah, so they're all hitting it. They're doing whatever. They're doing their own little thing. Um, <laughs> sorry, that was good. Anyway, so they're going to hit the uh, bottom here. So anyway, it does the same thing as a vortex. I don't know why, I just, I mean, that was a waste of time. Anyway, if you're bored, it, it gets exciting here. Now, as you can see, if I click on here, there's these, there's all these little green dots, and you can see here that if I actually take the node away, um, you'll see that at the moment there's a line in between these two dots. Now, that is actually layer zero. All right. Now, if I go current layer one, it'll go to these, and you'll see this thing here, which is the direction that it's turning. Now, this is what is kind of like a special about this. Um, if you had it on its side, I guess the best explanation would be like Saturn's rings, they would all fly in different, um, different, uh, bloody hell. They would all, uh, like they'd, they'd all go in different speeds, they'd be different sizes and stuff, so it's all very customizable. Now, uh, I'll give the first example. For the current layer, I'll put that on zero. Alright? Now, uh, I'll put the strength onto 25. Um, I'll put the width onto 1.5, which will actually change this. Actually, no, uh, I'm not doing that because I have a nice little setup. Anyway, so I'll, try, I'll keep on bounded on no. You know about bounded, I'm not going to cover that in this, uh, in this lesson or whatever. Now, if I go to current layer 1, and I change, see how uh, now it's this layer and it's different. I can change this to 0.3, then we go to layer 2. I get this uh, change again, I might change it to 15, layer 3, change it to 14, but make it complex. Now we'll get this little thing here. So basically all the layers are like different, uh, different vortexes all together except that they're all in one, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it, I'll put down 50 just to make it exciting. Um, so now, if we simulate this, you're going to see a whole range of different things. And that one is moving. I, that was the 0.3 one. So you can see that they are all doing their own different things. So you also, um, I guess you should take notice that this top one, that all these particles, they aren't linked to this layer. Okay? Um, when they go into the different layer zone here, um, they'll only be affected by that layer. So even these particles, when they fly up to here, past this line, if you go on a 90 degrees or parallel or whatever, they'll start moving faster than their bottom ones. So 
Yeah, this one's still moving really slow. Maybe I shouldn't put that on 0.3. Anyway, so basically you'll see that it just starts going in vortex and each different layer will go at a different speed. I guess that's the um, that's the easiest way to to demonstrate. I guess um, there's no gravity on or anything, um, but maybe if I actually um, what, uh, hang on, sorry. Yeah, so I'll get rid of these just for now, just for the moment. And I'll get a sphere, a middle. That seems about right. I'll, check the, I'll just get the resolution at 4. And then I'll put the speed on 15, just so that we can fill that up nice and quickly. cylinder on uh, invisible just so that we can see what's going on now I know I could have used fill object um, but probably wouldn't have like because I want a bit of room to um to work around with I guess or whatever if this isn't gonna work because it's gonna fly around and do shit and be annoying anyway maybe I'll uh, I'll get a cube, a sphere, a cylinder. I'll, I'll just get another cylinder. That's a good idea. Good idea, Nick. Mm, done. Anyway, um, I guess that's uh, that's basically all. I mean, there isn't really much else to uh, to say. I guess. Um, it's uh, you can um, you can, you can of course. What am I doing? Uh, you can of course put it on its side and then all you have to do is with the rotation tool you can rotate the uh, the effect of e each and every um, every section so you can rotate that individually so that it spins a different way um, so yeah now you're gonna see uh, what's that? Yeah. so now you're gonna see everything moving at a different speed maybe that's actually a better uh, better way of explaining but I mean we'll see we'll see Da -da 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 yeah, so you can see that it's uh, it's doing different things. Um, I guess that's all. That's all I'd uh, like to show you or share with you or whatever. Um, if you have any uh, requests or, or anything you'd like me to show, please do. I was excited at the start of this video, but now I'm actually tired. Um, so <laughs> amazing what that type of stuff can do to you. Anyway. Uh, uh, I'll see everyone later. Um, yeah, please do tell me. Tell me if you want something made. Um, I, I would like money because I'm getting a lot of requests actually, which I love, which is amazing. Uh, I'm really happy that I am. Um, but yeah, just uh, my subscribe favorite. Check out my other videos. Uh, make sure you um, check out all the other demons uh, videos just so that you know what the fuck you're doing. Um, but otherwise, in general. I guess that's it. Good night. I am going to bed in about five to six hours, I guess. Um, I think that's reasonable. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, might watch some telly. But stop rambling on. Uh, enjoy. I don't think there's other, any other settings I've missed. Oh, yeah, the radius. That's just, it's, it's basically like the other vortex settings. Um, that That's also only if you have it on bounded. Um, vortex type, if you change that, as you can see in the other one, um, it uh, it'll radiate from. Uh, it'll be like a uh, kind of like a, it'll it'll be more kind of star shaped. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, but yeah. So you can see here yeah, that the middle one is moving. For all the outer ones, they will actually be moving at different speeds. So if you put heat on that or something, or just like markers, uh, you could you could you could see what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyway. I hope you all enjoy that. Um, uh, just do whatever, have fun. Um, maybe, maybe you could show me what you've done with this. Uh, I, I don't really know many other projects coming up, coming up to 200 subscribers. If you'd like something for that, please tell me. Um, yeah, tell me, please. Uh, I'll do something for you guys. Uh, I'm 
not going to show you my face. I'm not going to do a room tour. I'm not going to do some weird competition or whatever. Um, I, I might do a competition, but I don't really know what for. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've, I've also kind of real I've noticed, I guess, that 2D intros are the way to go now. Like, they, they just seem so clean and professional, and I mean, they're amazing. If you guys haven't seen Mr. Yashi X3, I don't know, he must have been, I don't know what he was doing when he, when he did that. But anyway, he is amazing. Um, I'm, get, I'm getting him to make me an intro because he's, he's just, he's, he's fantastic. Um, but yeah, so, bye-bye again. I've been mean, Enjoy your day.